Alison Halker, my heart aches after the death of her husband, Stephen T. Witch Boss. Alison Halker broke her social media silence to express her grief one week after her husband, Stephen T. Witch Boss, committed suicide. Oh how my heart aches for my one and only. We miss you so much. She captioned a photo of herself and her late husband on Wednesday in a new Instagram post. Several of Halker's friends commented on her post, mourning the loss of the dancer and Ellen DeGeneres show DJ. There is a lot of love coming your way. I hope you feel it, DeGeneres said. Sorry friend, Tamar Braxton wrote, with Christina Perry adding, sending you so much love Allison. I'm wrapping you and your family in love, Julian Ho said. Allison, I'm sending you all my love, Peta Murgatroyd added. Halker, 34, made his first Instagram post since boss death on December 14. He was 40. The body of boss was discovered in Ala Hotel after his wife became concerned about his whereabouts. His death was ruled a suicide by gunshot to the head later that day. He allegedly left a suicide note in which he alluded to difficulties. Halker expressed his condolences to people after learning of boss's death. It is with heavy hearts that I have to inform you that my husband Stephen has left us, Halker said at the time. Stephen brightened every room he entered. Above all, he valued family, friends, and community, and leading with love and light was everything to him. He was the backbone of our family, the best husband and father, and an inspiration to his fans, she added. The couple celebrated their ninth wedding anniversary just days before Boss died. While competing on season 7 of So You Think You Can Dance, the couple fell in love. They dated for three years before he proposed, and they married in 2013. Halker and Boss eventually married and had a child. They had two children together, Maddox, 6, and Zaya, 3. Boss also became a second daddy to Halker's 14-year-old daughter, Wesley, whom she had with a previous partner. They were also planning on having more children as recently as November.